there's a spirit of unforgiveness in this Christian society. So persons coming out of prison has a very, uh, they have a very high recidivism rate, sometimes up to 70% because they're not given that second chance. Um, again, when I'm explaining to people why I'm doing what I'm doing, they think I'm shooting from my hip. I don't know what I'm talking about. But th these things are things that I can speak to from my brain, from my heart, and from my soul because I have lived this as an at-risk youth and I have lived this for the last 25 years trying to turn the situation around. Just about two Sundays ago, I was meeting with one in St. James and I was very happy because the place was packed. But I'm thinking that all neighborhoods have to come back together as community, learn your neighbors, know who you are, and have at least some kind of technology app and platform that we can communicate in real time. The second thing is using the cameras, digital cameras and real time sonar technology that can communicate with the, the police and the community in real time. I've been exploring a lot of best practices, things that can actually, um, I don't mean all, some of them are strategic, uh, some of the national security can't talk about all, but there are things that we can install on the like poles and so on, besides cameras that can actually feed information back to law enforcement in, in real time.